Most of us out there have played a video game of some kind, whether it's been Pong or Pac-Man or Mario, whatever. But my favorite game was released 15 years ago today, and that game is GoldenEye 007. Some of you may remember GoldenEye. It was a very groundbreaking game for its time. It was one of the first video games to ever actually put bullet holes in walls, which back then was a huge, huge, huge ordeal. Um, it was the first game to ever have that good of multiplayer or that I'm aware of. I wish I had a way of capturing video for it for this specific video. I actually made this video five years ago for the 10th anniversary, but you know, back then I was not aware of YouTube copyright and all that stuff, and I ended up taking the video down instead of making it private, so that video is gone. But I wanted to make a video for the 15th anniversary because, well, it was a very um, defining moment in my gaming world. And while maybe not everyone has had such an impacting experience with gaming, um, most of us have, have had some kind of an impactful experience with, you know, whether it's Tetris or whether it's, you know, some game that, you know, people, you know, your mom, your grandmother, or whoever can always enjoy playing. And while GoldenEye is very out of date compared to the Call of Duties and the Halos of the world these days, I personally still think it stands the test of time. You know, there's people back in the days who, you know, who loved paintball mode, which I never was really all that big of a paintball mode. Um, people loved big head mode, you know, where you can make the heads go, you know, you know, super, super huge. Never was really a big fan of that. I personally put on all guns, invincibility, and all that stuff, just so I could just run through the whole place and you know kill everybody. And I will admit, the two final levels of the game, there were unlockable levels once you beat it on various difficulties. I never actually unlocked those both myself. I had to get a friend to do it because I wasn't good enough because I kept getting killed in Double O Agent. But I still had a good time trying at least. And Gold and I had one of those methods that you don't see too often in games anymore, where in order to unlock the cheats in the game, you had to beat certain levels on certain times on certain difficulties. Some levels were easier than others. Some level you had to go through a breakneck speed just to barely just get that cheat unlocked by like one second. It was fun, it was innovative, and it had replay value on top of all of that. And yes, I do still have my GoldenEye 64 gaming cartridge. No, I have not tried the Wii reboot of the game because it just kind of irritated me that they upgraded the smartphones and put Daniel Craig. Uh, uh, that, that's a whole different story. There might be some elements of this game that I'm forgetting, but I tried it a few years back and it was difficult trying to get back to the hang of how to use the C buttons because, you know, controllers back then, or at least the Nintendo controllers, did not have dual joysticks. So it was a little bit odd jumping back in time trying to get used to a different control scheme than what I've gotten out of. This was a game that I took everywhere. I took it to friend's house. I took it to church during weekend youth events. I took it to school, like during the, you know, like during the end of the school year. Teachers would let me take my entire 64 up to school with four controllers, memory packs, and everything. And we would hook this thing up to our old bulky TVs that we used to have back then. And we would play just cost, I mean, four players going constantly. School, church, friend's house, my grandparents' house, you name it. I, any, any place I could take this game and play it, I would. This is one of the first games that I can remember where you had to have precise precision on the harder difficulties. Sometimes you would have to hide behind a wall or, or hide behind a cover or, or whatever, or line it up where you were hiding behind like two walls that were, you know, had like an awkward angle going at them. And you had to shoot between like a very narrow space in order to hit your enemy or else you were screwed. 007 mode was a mode that you played if you wanted a challenge. It was not a mode for casual players at all. Or at least that's how I remember it. Some people probably got used to it enough where they could probably blaze through it, but me, not so much. And also, if I remember correctly, you could actually go through this game, not maybe not on Double O Agent, but you could complete the game in about 30 to 40 minutes. This was back in the days before online was a deal. And this game garnered enough of a fan base where its fans later may upgrade the graphics and made it into a thing called GoldenEye Source. If you would like to, you can Google more information about that. And the GoldenEye Source remake soundtrack is great because it mimics the original soundtrack of the original game, which I loved. I would actually go in and hook up my 64 up to stereos, put cassette tapes in, and actually record, like manually record the music onto my cassette tape so I could listen to it on my portable Walkman that I used to have. At one point I even emailed Nintendo directly about them putting out a soundtrack for the game and their basic response was, there are no plans to but we do appreciate your support. So I never got my soundtrack but you know I still, you know, I was like hey if I can put it out I will record it myself. And I know other people feel the same way because I've seen tracks from the game floating around online over the past several years. That's about all I can think of to say about GoldenEye at the moment. You know, other than cool little small things like the fact when you pause the game that the watch was your pause menu and things like that. 
the game just overall, it obviously, is good enough to be my favorite game of all time. It always has been, and I think it always will be. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your favorite games of all time or even video responses. That would be fantastic. Um, and yeah, maybe we can actually get some conversation going here. Maybe not, but if not, then this is just kind of like a personal video that I did because it's my favorite game of all time. It's 15 years, man. Time flies by so fast. It really does. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thanks for your likes, and I will see you next week.